Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. So guys, today I'm going to show you how to remap the Bixby button. And the reason for this is because recently we had an update in which um, Samsung basically allowed you to um, turn off the one-click feature to actually cause the sidebar or the Bixby home to slide out. So I thought I'd look into um, how to disable the Bixby button or remap the Bixby button totally. So this is a tutorial showing you how to remap the button in its entirety, meaning you can actually change the functionality of the button so when you click it something like the camera might just pop out or anything else that you want now note samsung does not want you to actually be doing this as they want you to actually use the bixby assistant which is a great assistant but it still would be nice if you could actually remap the button so let's get straight into the tutorial now for this you'll actually need a app and that app is called bixby remapper as you see down here now basically what i'm going to do is we're going to go to the play store you can actually search now once you search, you can actually search for Bixby button or just Bixby remapper if you want. So I'm just going to type in Bixby remapper. And once you type search for the remapper, it's going to be this app that you see here. As you can see, you can see the produce and so on of this app. All right, I've already installed it so that to save some time. So you're going to go down into... Um, once it's installed, you're going to go and you're going to launch. Now, you should see a warning on screen telling you basically that once the button is um, remap, what's going to happen is that it's going to cause you to actually be able to remap the button. But whenever the button is um, mapped, what's happening is that it's basically overriding the Bixby command such as to go to home. And when it overrides it, it basically launches any app that you want. So the first thing you're going to do, guys, is going to tap on. To enable as you see there there's the warning you can go ahead and read it on yours i'm going to continue so once it's turned on it's going to take you to accessibility that settings accessibility once you're here it's going to actually give you the option to enable um two modes you have bixby remapper you have the stable version and then you have bixby remapper the, um, with less delay most people want the faster version seeing that older versions are a slight delay when you click the button for the um, app that was mapped to actually appear um, since people like fast, or you guys like um, the faster uh, method, I'm just going to go with fast. I'm going to enable. It's going to give you a um, warning and tell you about um, delays and so on and so forth. Now, should anything happen like the fast version is too unstable, you can actually come back in here, turn off this version, and actually enable the more stable version. So that's if you are getting crashes, all right? So once you do that, you're going to exit. You're going to go back. To the bixby app as you see now it's enabled and it gives you the option here to switch to the more stable version in case you're crashing right now this is the easy part now of course all you gotta do here it says um the action is actually not enabled it's set to do nothing so let's say i want the camera to actually pop out or actually appear whenever i actually do this so i'm just gonna go and select camera and as you see it's set as an action now observe when i click the bixby button and there's a slight delay but it's actually fast and there you go it's actually launched the camera on one click now every action associated with uh, bixby is actually going to now be associated with the camera so if i swipe over here there you go it actually launches the camera and that's normal as soon as the app is actually running so you can actually go back to um, bixby remapper and if you want you can disable the functionality you could say do nothing and of course if you say do nothing and you hit the button it's going to take you while the while the um while it's enabled it's going to actually override so that's a result of it being still enabled so if you want to regain your normal device just simply turn off um, the functionality by hitting the button right here now let's look at some of the things before before i disable it what are some things you can actually do just in case you're curious you can actually um, do nothing open an app you can go to google now you can go to google assistant voice search camera power menu notification panel quick settings panel press spot button press home button press recent apps button toggle split screen toggle flash toggle ring on notification to go to vibration mode toggle do not disturb toggle auto rotate and toggle media action now the beta versions are the test version so they might not work as well all right and that's it so if you want you can actually disable the button so i'm going to disable the app 
there you go quite easy it's now disabled and of course big speed is gonna go back to normal if i tap the button there you go it should um, appear now that's normal sometimes what's happening is that it's messing with the app so what you gotta do if in case you're getting that interference is you're gonna go into um, settings you're gonna go into um, accessibility and of course you're gonna go down here and then you're gonna set this to off once we'll it okay when we'll exit you can try again there you go so you realize it was still running in the background so all I had to do was just disable accessibility to get back functionality so Bixby is now working as it should there's no need to worry and of course you can uninstall the app um, take away access and so on so that's it guys if you think this was helpful please give um, this video a thumbs up also you can leave your comments or ask questions below this record from Black Tech Tips showing you another cool way to actually or the updated version of how to remap the Bixby button so this is Ricardo saying bye until next time. Bye.